Okay, the following are some basic rules regarding the semicolon. Here's the semicolon, and what you need to know about this device is that to the left is an independent clause, otherwise known as a sentence. To the right is an independent clause, otherwise known as a sentence. This is the situation you will run into 95% of the time with this particular uh, punctuation mark. To the left and the right are complete sentences. The difference between this sentence and this sentence right here is this, this one it begins with a small case letter. The exception of that would be is if this were this happened to be a proper noun. So what's the difference between this one and this? Well, the difference is this one has a transition, a word like however, nevertheless, furthermore. There's still, you still have a complete sentence here. You still have a complete sentence that follows. The difference is, is again, you have a transition, small case, just like this up here, and you have this also comma that separates it from the rest. Here's some examples of two independent clauses, sentences that are connected by semicolons. Some people write essays with the word processor, semicolon, others write with a pen. They go together and they both can stand alone because they're complete sentences. This next one is the same thing. The difference is, is that this one has a transition in it. Some people have, write essays with the word processor, semicolon, however, comma, others write with a pen. It's the same thing. You have complete sentence on either side. Notice small case, notice small case, and notice comma right there. And those are the basic rules. This is what's going to happen to you. Uh, this is what you're going to run into most of the time when you're writing an essay. The following is something that you may run into every now and then, and it breaks the rule that I just mentioned up above. But this is fairly rare, but bear with me. The use semicolons to separate lists that would be confusing if only commas were used. If this sentence contained only commas, it would be a little bit more difficult to read. On a Harley motorcycle, my grandmother and her poodle have traveled to Anchorage, Alaska, San Francisco, California, and Tijuana, Mexico. So what this sentence, uh, person who wrote the sentence did was they linked together the city and the state, put in a semicolon, city and the state, put in a semicolon, and city and country and put it put a period. So if you have a list that would have a bunch of commas and it would be a little bit more difficult to follow, then use a uh, semicolon to separate that list. And now we're going to talk about some common mistakes with the use of the semicolon. Avoid using a comma when a semicolon or period is needed. Here's incorrect. The cow is brown, it is also old. That's called a comma splice can't connect two complete sentences using a mere comma. It's going to have a semicolon or a period. And notice if you have a semicolon, the I in it is small case. If you use a period, it's going to be a capital I. Incorrect. I like cows, comma, however, comma. I hate the way they smell. You can't do that. This is a complete sentence. This is a complete sentence right here. A comma, a mere comma will not do it. It's got to be a semicolon that separates those two. The following two sentences are examples of what I mentioned up above uh, that fall under the category of the exception to the rule. I like cows, colon. They give us milk, comma, which tastes good. They give us beef, comma, which also tastes good. And they give us leather, comma, which is good for shoes and coats. It's not as easy to read as what I said because you have a list of, you have a string of commas where you need more of a separation of parts. I like cows, colon. They give us milk, which tastes good, semicolon. They give us beef, which also tastes good, semicolon. And they give us leather, which is used for shoes and coats. So you're separating parts. This part goes, these two parts go together. These two parts go together. And these two parts go together. 
And here's the last example we'll give of a problem that we, the teachers see. Because cows smell, they offend me. Well, that's, uh, the thought is right there, but this cannot stand alone. Because cows smell, that is not a complete sentence. This is, so this will not work. That does work. So you have to make sure you're using the proper punctuation when you write a paper.